Hello, this is Patrick Ballet for Hot Coding, and today we're going to upgrade your Nexus tablet to Android 4.3 if you don't want to wait for the OTA upgrade. You can download manually the image from Google's uh, Google website. Uh, go to developer developers.google.com slash Android slash Nexus slash images and there you have all the images of Android 4.3 uh, in my case that's the Nexus 7 Wi-Fi the Nakasi uh, image so I already did already downloaded the image and uh, remember to um, copy paste actually to copy first the MD5 checksum because you're gonna need it later. The next thing you need to do once it's downloaded, go to wogfresh.com and download the Nexus Root Toolkit. This software will make it really easy to uh, unlock and to uh, do whatever you want with your uh, Nexus device. Basically, it works really well with the Nexus 7 Wi-Fi. So, uh, you download this, you install it, and eventually, uh, once all, uh, all is set up, you need to launch it as an administrator, and you'll get that nice little screen. To make the process um, successful, first you need to enable uh, debugging on your um, Nexus device. You need to go in your parameters in uh, about and then click on the build number like 10 times in a row to enable the uh, developer options. Once that done, uh, you go into those uh, those settings and enable USB debugging. Once that's done, uh, you plug your and uh, your Nexus device to your computer with the official cable. Uh, I think it's it's e uh, it's safer. I don't know. That's what I do anyway. And once that done, uh, you click unlock. I won't do the process because mine is already unlocked, but just follow the instructions and uh, it's gonna be easy to unlock. Once that done, you need to click on flash stock plus unroot uh, in case you rooted your device, I don't know. It's kind of uh, reverting to uh, the stock image of your device and um, it's Actually, what we're trying to do is just upgrade, so it's going to be easy to do. Uh, oh, yeah, I think you have to install the drivers uh, in some cases. Initial setup, you need to click that. Mine is already done, so I won't do that again. But uh, read the documentation on uh, the Nexus Root Toolkit uh, software to make sure that everything will work as expected. In my case, all, all was done like a while ago, so I just don't remember. I think it was initial setup, then unlock, and then you're ready to flash stock and unroot. So I'm gonna click flash stock unroot, and it's saying that it will uh, revert my device back to its initial um, state, and it will be wiped completely. So I don't care, yep click OK. Then it's asking me uh, Wi-Fi tablet factory image. You need first, I think by default, this will be selected. And then you need to say, OK, that's the image I want. But in my case, I want to select other because the latest is the latest Android version is not there for 4.3. So click other browse, click uh, select, I downloaded a factory image myself that I would like to use instead, blah, blah, blah. Then click OK. Go to your folder where you downloaded the previous file from Google, which is a TGZ. Select it, click Open. And then it's going to ask me for the MD5 uh, value. I'm just waiting for the software to finish analyzing the factory image. I'm currently having a um, small dialogue showing up in my initial screen, which I cannot show you because it's currently being uh, 
it's currently scanning okay there we go I have it it's already in my um, and oh no it's not there okay I need to get it back okay that's why I said earlier keep that that web page handy copy paste the MD5 checksum click OK and then the software will start analyzing the image to make sure that it works I'm still waiting for the result your file is good to extract and flash press OK to continue remember that at this time my Nexus tablet is currently connected to my computer and with uh, USB USB debugging enabled click OK then I have a small dialogue sh saying to me please be patient while your file extracts I cannot move it so I cannot show it to you it's current, currently showing in my initial screen shouldn't be long okay there we go it disappeared and uh, checking ADB status that's the thing that will make sure that everything will work ADB device not found in order to work USB debugging needs to be enabled okay I think I need to okay I think I close it ah okay I know what I did I, I tried it earlier but uh, I need to reset everything okay let's go there So let me uh, reconfigure my Nexus tablet to re-enable the USB debugging and I'll be back. So there we go, my tablet was reconfigured to enable USB debugging. So let's go back to, oh darn, the screen is not large enough. So press OK. And then it's checking again for the device. It, the device has been found and now it's rebooting my device into bootloader mode okay so now we're waiting for that to finish it can take a few minutes checking fast boot fast boot status device connected and eventually something will happen okay now I have uh, flashing stock will factory reset your device make sure to back up your important data first while it's flashing stock please be patient press OK if you're ready to continue so I press OK and then you get a DOS box where all the commands will be sent and all the operations will be execu executed to upgrade your device to Android 4.3 it can take like around three minutes depending on your probably your computer speed I don't know Currently, I'm seeing uh, archive does not contain boot sig, recovery sig. We don't care, actually, it's going to work. And then checking product, OK, 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 and it's writing stuff. And currently, sending system, which is around 500 megabytes. And this process will take just a few minutes. And once uh, it's going to be completed, um, the file will be written to the device. And a few minutes later, um, actually more a few seconds later, uh, your device will, uh, your Wi-Fi tablet, ne your Nexus tablet will uh, reboot into Android 4.3 where you'll have to enter uh, all your credentials and your settings and uh, if you enable backup uh, with your Google account then your apps will be redownloaded and uh, all you'll, you'll have to do essentially is to re-enter your credentials with uh, Facebook, Twitter and other apps but as for Google Apps uh, it seems to remember you so you don't have to do it all over again currently a writing system and on my uh, on my Nexus 7 device uh, I see the Android buddy on its back belly opened 
and currently being upgraded. And then erasing user data, created file system, uh, sending user data. It's almost done. So as you see, it's quite easy to do a manual upgrade. The thing is, with the same tool, you can revert back, revert back to Android 4.2, 4.1, whatever you want. Uh, install a custom image for your device. But this time, we used uh, the official Android 4.3 from Go the, the Google website. So hey, there we go. It's done. The device has been upgraded and it's currently, uh, you cannot see it, but the device is currently booting up. So you can close the tool as we don't need it anymore. And the tablet is currently booting and I'm going to end up with the uh, initial screen set up where I need to enter my time zone, my account, Google account and stuff like that. So you know the drill for... Uh, how it works after that but basically that's how you can do it with Windows and upgrade your Nexus 7 tablet probably the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10 also using the Nexus root toolkit and the official images from Google hope you enjoyed leave your comments at the bottom links will be added after the uh, video upload bye